Like, if I ain't creating nothing, I don't feel good. You know, so at a certain point, you gotta feed yourself, and sometimes you can't feed on mimicking, but you gotta put the time in to figure out who you are and what you are, what you not, too. A lot of times, what you not is very important, you know, because you can want to be something, but your strength is actually in something else. That is what makes you start to do your own thing. That's when your skin start to breathe and you start to like get into your primal self, you know, and your primal self is the best contribution to the planet. As you guys just saw, that was a clip from a famous 90s rapper who was one half of a famous 90s hip hop duo called Outkast. That rapper was named Andre 3000, who was actually one of my personal favorite rappers, if you didn't know. I love his enunciation, his wordplay, his unorthodox flow, his rhyme schemes, how socially conscious he is. Everything about him is great. And he's a Gemini too, so I relate to him on that aspect. But I kind of want to break down this clip, you know, share some thoughts that I have about it. He dropped a lot of gems, and I kind of just want to, you know, just express my thoughts, break it down, and kind of help you guys understand what he's saying. Um, so yeah, I have the clip right here in front of me on my MacBook, and I'm just going to play it through, play it back, and talk about what I think. Gotta put the time in. Like, if I ain't creating nothing, I don't feel good. You know, so at a certain point, you got to feed yourself. And sometimes you can't feed on mimicking, but you got to put the time. So he said, if I don't create, I don't feel good. And at a certain point, you have to feed yourself and you cannot feed off of mimicking. So that resonates with me because from a young age, I've always wanted to be a creator. You know, I was always very creative. I always wanted to do something that involved creating and i'm assuming if you're watching this video you are probably the same exact way you probably are very creative a lot of us were born with this creativity you know from a very young age we are super imaginative super creative super dreamy right um and as you get older society starts to strip away that creativity society starts to say no you can't do that no you can't uh, you know, you can't do such and such that that's stupid. You know, you can't chase your dreams. Um, that dream is not realistic. You know, society tries to strip away that imagination, strip away that creativity. So through time, you find yourself mimicking, you find yourself having to, to feed off of mimicking. Now, what does that mean? To me, that means like <laughs> mimicking the rest of society mimicking what you see other people doing mimicking what you think is the right thing for you but little do you know you don't know what the right thing for you is yet because you don't know thyself yet so as a result you're mimicking people and that's what i was doing and that's something we all did right as i got older i would start to mimic what older people do you know okay i seen this person went to college i seen this person went to school I seen this person did a trade. Let me try that. All right, this person did HVAC. Let me try HVAC. This person tried such and such. Let me try that one, right? So I was mimicking what other people did because I thought that was what was suited for me. I thought that's what would work for me. But what works for somebody may not work for you. What works for somebody else may not work for you and vice versa. What may work for you may not work for somebody else. And that's something that you can only learn through time. So you have to create, you have to feed yourself. And that's what he says. You have to feed yourself. You can't, you have to feed your soul. You have to feed your soul. You have to do what fulfills you. You have to make choices that align with who you are. Right? So yeah, I don't want to ramble too much. I think I said, I think I said enough for that first half. Let's uh let's continue to watch. But you gotta put the time in to figure out who you are and what you are, what you not. A lot of times you have to put the time in to figure out who you are and what you're not. Um, this is something that I didn't do when I was younger. I didn't put that time in to figure out who I was. I just kind of entered into every situation 
with open arms, not really anticipating anything, not really expecting anything, but in in after the fact, that's when I learned my lesson. After the fact, that's when I learned what I needed to learn. So learning who you are, how do you learn who you are? For me, solitude, spending time alone, asking questions, you know, healing past traumas, uh, asking questions about my past, um, trying to heal anything that I didn't heal yet, trying to answer any questions that I've left unanswered in my head, um, getting to know myself, just observing how I behave on a daily day basis, you know, whether it's how I react emotionally towards certain things, whether it's how I respond emotionally, whether it's how I respond to others, whether it's how I treat others, whether it's how I subconsciously treat people, whether it's how, you know, I'm constantly moderating myself. I'm constantly watching myself. Excuse me. Hold on. I have a really bad sinus right now. And he also says you have to figure out what you're not. So for me, that resonates with me because growing up, I wanted to try so many different things. You know, at one point, I wanted to be a basketball player. At one point, I wanted to do football. At one point, I wanted to do HVAC. At one point, I wanted to be a barber. At one point, I wanted to be a video game creator. At one point, I wanted to be a YouTube gamer. Uh, at one point, I wanted to join like a uh, like a, a gaming league. Like I, I wanted to do so many things, like so many different things. But I had to realize what I wasn't, and I can only learn that through trial and error, through trying different things, through realizing that things aren't for me. You know, I realized I'm not gonna be a basketball player. I'm not even close to the average height. I realized, you know, I'm not gonna do HVAC because I, I suck at math. I'm not good at math. I'm not good at science. Um, I realized, you know, so many different things and, and so many people, so many different people go through this too. Um, for an example, the average, the average student athlete that goes to high school that wants to be a professional athlete when they grow up, right? They want to be an athlete so bad. They put the work in, they, they try so hard. They, 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 they want it so bad, but no matter how hard they try, they just can't seem to to get the results that they want, right? At some point, that person has to realize what they're not, right? For an example, maybe that person just isn't tall enough. Maybe that person isn't fast enough. Maybe that person just a isn't able to comprehend a playbook. Maybe that person just isn't able to comprehend uh, the game of football. Maybe that person isn't able to connect with his teammates. Maybe that person just isn't a natural born leader. Maybe that like there's you, you always got to figure out what you're not. Right. So. And, and once you figure out what you're not, you can then figure out what you truly are. And, and it'll make it even easier for you to decide what you really want to do because you're no longer wasting your time. You already know what you're about. You already know what you have to offer. You already know your weaknesses, uh, your strong suits, your, your, your positive qualities, your negative qualities. So yeah, let's, let's keep breaking down this clip. What you not is very important, you know, cause you can want to be something, but your strength is actually in something else. And that resonates with me a lot as well, because you can want to be something, but your strength lies in something else. A lot of us are very driven, very passionate. We want to do good. We have great intentions, but we just can't seem to direct that energy towards what's really meant for us, right? A lot of us want to be something. A lot of us might think we want to be a certain thing, but it's not actually us that wants to be it. It's, it's our ego that wants to be that thing. It's not actually our higher self that wants to be that. A lot of us want to be certain things that we just cannot be. For an example, I just named one. I wanted to be a basketball player, but I know damn well I can't even, you know, I'm no, I'm nowhere even close to the amount of talent that these NBA athletes have. I'm nowhere even close to the average height. So I had to realize what I wasn't. I had to realize that that wasn't for me. My strength lies in somewhere else. 
For example, let's use the same example as I was using earlier about the student athlete that wants to be a professional football player. All right, he's passionate about it. He wants to be that, but he can't be that. But his strength still lies somewhere else. For example, right, let's say he doesn't end up being a professional football player, but instead he takes his talents to broadcasting or maybe journalism or maybe you know, interviewing athletes or maybe, you know, becoming a media reporter, you know, just because it's not just because you're not meant for it, just because it's not for you, just because you, you, you figured out that you're not best suited there. It doesn't mean that you still can't do it. It doesn't mean that you still can't take that same passion and put it towards something else. Right. Um, and and if you want to take the example let's let's finish this before i even before i even go on that's what makes you start to do your own thing that's when your skin start to breathe and you start to like get into your primal self so he says that's when you start to do your own thing and that's when you start to step into your primal self and that's true like all right once you start once you stop mimicking people once you stop trying to do what other people are doing once you stop trying to do what people think is best for you and you start doing what is actually is best for you what you think is actually best for you once you start doing that you start to do your own thing and you start to you start to step into your primal self right and as a result you're able to able to reach your full potential because once you start to do your own thing right now you're focused in on that now you're you're honing in on it now you're 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 giving and you're directing all your energy towards it right so when you do that you're limiting distractions you're limiting the amount of time you spend with other people you are using your time wisely and you are directing all of your your focus onto that specific thing and as a result you go into your primal self and what is your primal self your primal self is the version of you that is capable of reaching your full potential your primal self is the version of you that is able to that is able to to achieve your goals work towards your goals work towards your or work towards your dreams your primal self is the version of you that that acts off of instincts that does things from the heart right that is your primal self let's finish the clip you know and your primal self is the best contribution to the planet and your primal self is the best contribution to the planet now why is that why is your primal self the best contribution to the planet if you ask me the reason why your primal self is the best contribution to the planet is because you are in alignment with what you are supposed to be doing you are fulfilling yourself not only yourself but you're fulfilling your purpose you're fulfilling your role you are bringing people together you are you are motivating people you are uplifting others you know by doing what you want to do by leading by example other people are going to see that and they're want to they're going to want to do the same thing they're going to want to they're going to want to add those qualities to their self they're going to want to take a page from your book they're going to want to emulate what you do they're going to want to take inspiration from you so when you're on your primal self that is the best contribution to the world yes 100 percent, because you are walking by faith not by sight because you are speaking from the heart because you are acting from the heart because you are <sighs> because you're making choices that align with your higher self simply put so i hope i was able to make you understand that clip i hope i was able to help you understand what andrew 3000 said i hope you are able to understand what i said I hope you were able to learn something from this video. I hope you were able to resonate with my message. I hope you were able to resonate with Andre 3000's message. Um, 
And I hope you're able to take this information and apply it to your life. You know, um, this, this journey of life, we all go through a similar journey. We grow up, we have dreams, we're very imaginative, we're very creative. Society strips it away from us from a young age. Um, but our dreams is all we have, you know, um, and, and when you, when you get your dreams stripped away, you start to copy what other people do because, you know, that's all, you know, you see other people doing good. You think that's what it's going to work for you. Little do you know what, what works for them doesn't work for you. So now you got to feed your soul, do what's best for you. Walk by faith, not by sight. You know, follow your heart, follow your dreams, do what you want to do. Don't mimic other people. Um, and just be be the best version of you, bro. Be the best version of you. I hope this is able to I hope this is able to encourage somebody out there. I hope this is able to put a battery in somebody's back. And with all that being said, if you guys left this video motivated, inspired, or a better person, then I did my part. Other than that, peace, love, positivity. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Peace.